Okay, why why does the Course in Miracles not talk about karma? Um, uh, was the, a question, and uh, my view is the Course in Miracles is really a mystical teaching to go into the infinite um, using um, Christ's or Christian uh, languaging. Uh, from Hawkins, what I got was. Um, uh, if you look in the, uh, if you do calibration to calibrate whether statements are true or false in the Bible, uh, there's a statement um, in the uh, Bible that said something like John has come back as Isaiah. And if you calibrate that, um, calibrate that, was he referring to reincarnation? Uh, it cal calibrates as true. However, I mean, Hawkins' explanation was. Um, for the level of consciousness uh, for which Jesus was in, the type of audience and the spiritual background is that that audience at that time in history was not really ready for uh, communication on karma. Whereas Buddha, uh, that was quite an evolved culture where you had the ancient Vedas and karma and reincarnation being quite well known. So to be a teacher of enlightenment, talking to the students in that context, it was quite um, quite okay and easy to talk about karma in terms of past lives and and uh, and the effects. Of course, in ultimate truth, karma and duality doesn't exist. So, but for Jesus, uh, for Jesus in his times in the Christian traditions in the Western world, um, uh, it's not really um, something that's um, accepted as such. Um, it doesn't, you don't need, you don't need, um, whether you get to enlightenment by a, a Buddha and the explanation of reincarnation, letting go of all attachments to be enlightened, or whether you go through forgiveness um, and uh, just forgiving everything and everyone at all times. I mean, they both take you to the same place. So there, it's not like um, one pathway excludes the other pathway. In fact, there's many pathways to the infinite. Um, so um, you could also say that, um, uh, why does the Course of, well, the Course of Miracles doesn't use the word karma. It does talk about the ego and uh, how um, unuseful it is uh, listening to the ego. And it does say, you know, it's beneficial to forgive. And uh, like, for example, um, uh, my attack thoughts are attacking my vulnerability. Well, there's no mention of karma there or past lives or anything. But I would say as well, uh, there is karma in, in what's being stated there. It's just not using the word karma. Uh, I, if in, in, in holding an attack thought, by al allowing myself to hold attack thoughts and, I, and wallow in them, identify with them, then I experience the karma of uh, losing the infinite. So that's car that's that that's almost like a karmic law, a karmic lesson. To identify with attack thoughts is to lose the experience of the infinite. That's the karma, you see. If if I don't uh, if I don't uh, identify with an attack thought, then I'll remain as the infinite, invulnerable. So um, so it's just uh, uh, in uh, Christianity we talk about. Um, you know the good deeds. You know what you sow is what you reap. Um, you know, and and the soul it'll have an effect on the soul and where it goes. So, I would say that's karma. You know, you might not be called karma. Um, and so, um, karma is there's uh, there's consequences for being in separation. Uh, that's all all that all that karma means really. It doesn't really matter whether you want to talk about the existence of past lives or even this. I mean, if if we try and forget past lives um even though um i would say um what christianity is talking about uh, to be born with original sin means i'm born with karma born with um inherent defects uh, t temptations not in the state of the infinite uh, and so that's a karma um uh, even though there may not be an explanation for it and um also even just from a, I mean, it, you don't need the explanation of karma or past lives. It's not necessary. You can use different languaging, you know, like um, uh, to to um, 
to be in separation, to hold unforgiveness, to not let go of things and surrender, uh, there's a karmic consequence, I mean, uh, which is, uh, that's good enough, you know, um, to forgive or not to forgive, there's karmic consequences, or that there are consequences or there are effects in the uh, level of consciousness by what one holds to. And I'll just stop there.